Hey party people, I'm Kelly. And I'm Bean. And we're Kelly Bean's Bees. We're second year beekeepers here in Central Virginia. And today we pulled off a lot of honey. We pulled off a ton of honey. And you know how much honey we were expecting to pull off today? Zero. Zero. Because you know who hasn't bought any jars or labels or anything? That's us. We haven't bought anything. Here's, we're not ready. That's me. I'm putting my hand up saying it was me. <laughs> yeah. So, fun times. So, Beanie, what's going on? So, what we're, we have we're just done... We're in the done, fish food hive. Picking up from there. Just to let you all know. Okay. What we have just done is this hive was completely packed out with honey. You can tell they're packed out with bees. Here's and we were running great. out of room in the brood nest for the queen to lay eggs. We haven't seen any queen cups, queen cells. Um, I think we saw one, but it was old. Nothing to worry about. One queen cup, I should say. Doesn't have anything in it. Um, but this hive, they're packing out so much honey that the queen is running out of room to lay. Mm -hmm. And if she completely runs out of room to lay or starts to feel like she's really, really burdened down with how much honey there is... And she can't really do her job anymore. And that's a problem, Bob. The that's stuff a is big now problem. behind me. All right, you show them the bees, and I'll yeah, go ahead and so do So here are some bees. I scraped this off. As you can see, there's tons and tons of honey. Um, we taste tested the honey because who wouldn't, you know? Um, we put some in our mouths like that that has the cut, kind of like cut comb that some people like to buy. It's real expensive. I understand why it's expensive, but I don't really love it personally. Um, but the honey tasted really good, so that was exciting. And so a lot of these bees that are up here are, um, there was a ton of honey on the top of the frame, so they're like licking it up. I feel like it's getting pretty dry, though. They're doing a good job. Yeah. Bees work quick. Yeah. I mean, it was literally almost this whole thing, honey everywhere. Um, yeah, so then Beanie's getting the smoker back, and then we're going to smoke this back, put it back together, and then this top box is where we took honey from how many out of these 10 frames how many do you think were well we know five of them were filled with honey completely yeah completely there was but one the that rest... was 98 percent honey it had like four cells of drone brood down at the bottom yeah um and then there were probably what three to four that had, had honey a little patch brood, of brood at the bottom but yeah but it was mostly honey it was very mostly honey. So we went ahead and pulled out five of those honey frames, and they're now in this little nuke box over here. And we're going to take that home with us. And Beanie said maybe extract this afternoon. So we'll see. We came out to the bee yard we came, pretty early. Yeah, That's why it's still come, shady over here, which is nice. Yeah, we came early. So we went yesterday to the turkey house at, what time did we go? Like 1.30? 1 o'clock. It was so hot, and there was no shade there. And I was like, I can't do that two days in a row. I'm getting too old for that. I'm just, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been old enough for that or young enough for that, whatever. Anyway, so. I didn't came... do a very good job here. I was trying to rush through it, and uh, this is what happens when you try to do a rush job. Yeah. You need to go again? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to fix it up. Don't you worry. You keep talking to people about bees. Okay. Tell them, tell them why we needed to take out this honey. Yeah, so why we had... were we okay to take the honey out of the brood box? We were okay to take it out of the brood box because, well, they didn't have any room. And so whenever brood was hatching out, they would then be putting nectar back where the brood was. So then there was no room for them to actually lay eggs and have brood. So what we did was take out those five frames of honey. They're completely capped. Like, they're ready to go for us um and then inside we put we had five frames or five or four and a half frames that were already drawn out that we put back in here um so then they have room so the queen hopefully should delay and um you know hopefully they'll actually store their honey in the honey super since we're taking the queen excluder off so is that a good good capture there yeah we put one frame in that wasn't quite drawn out um, it had, sorry for walking in front of you. Um, it had okay. started we'll to be you. drawn, but hadn't really done a whole lot. Um, so they can draw that if they need to, but we put that on the edge at the very top. So that should promote them to draw these frames up in the super a lot quicker than that one. Yeah. Which, Fingers you know, crossed. they've got so much room now that it doesn't really matter if they draw the ones down here or not. Yeah. So... Yeah, so we pulled that honey off. We're gonna be extracting it soon. We still need jars and labels, so yay for that. But if you're local, make sure that you're checking out our Facebook page. Just follow us along.
Kelly Beans B is on Facebook, and I believe it's linked here on our YouTube, on our yeah, homepage. If you go into our About section. Okay, perfect. And you'll be able to follow us along there to see when we have our honey ready to sell. So, last year we didn't sell any honey because we, it was our first year and we didn't really expect to have honey. Yeah, we didn't. We hadn't set up any labeling or anything, and the amount of honey that we had was a good amount for kind of us and our families. Yeah. And, um, and we also paid. Payment for using the right. We, if you haven't followed for long, um, we do not have land where we live, so we are out at the pumpkin patch that my friend and her family own, and then we also at the turkey house, um, a friend, like family friend. Um, owns that farm and they let us have a little piece of their land to run our bees on. So Which we're they're all really excited to have bees. Yeah. Um, I think they'd just be happy with the bees themselves. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, everybody loves some honey, right? So right. Yeah, we give it's... back. We say thank you by uh, giving jars of honey because yeah. who wouldn't want that, you know? Yeah. And we're grateful to them since we... Oh, very. We live in a HOA, so it's a no-fly zone there. Yep. <laughs> so yeah perfect i'm trying right, to get bean. the bees off the side of this so that i can put the boxes back together but i know i was just gonna ask what are your like anything else we want to add i feel like so really this talking. video i just wanted to bring you guys back tell you what we had done um give you a good understanding of kind of why we did it this is extremely heavy just oh. to let you know i feel like that didn't really help but no, not really. I think you're killing a lot. I'm going to try to do my best. What you can kind of do is slowly slide. Can you smoke this side for me? The front? Yep. Um, Sorry, guys. Your angles might not be great. I'm trying to help. You can slowly slide the box sometimes, and hopefully that will kill less bees than just... Well, you killed about down. 10 right there. I so. did. Uh, 10 out of 60,000, I think it's all right, though. Right. And then can you smoke on the side again? Try to get them out of that gap. And just slowly set it down. Yeah, and don't get your pants up against it, because then you'll have bees in your pants. Yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> so, didn't kill too many. There's still a lot running around, but a lot sadly, around. when you've got this many bees flying around, it's kind of hard I not mean, to I mean, look at all some. those guys. You saw them. But There's a ton. We're going to close this hive up. Can you smoke right there for me? Yeah. Um, we are going to leave the queen excluder out. Because I want these bees to get up there and draw better. They haven't been doing There might doing be a another job. one of those. There's another one of there those on, yep. down on the ground. Those are beetle, beetle jails, yep. beetle traps. They catch five beetles. We but, probably need new ones in yeah. here, but. Or we just are. clean these out. But anyway, so we're leaving off the queen excluder because it'll help them to, or promote them to draw the frames up top. Um, I'm not worried about the queen laying up there because. There's so much honey up in this top box. We just took a lot of it out. But there's so much so honey that time. she's not going to want to go higher than it. Um, but it's not drawn out anyway. So there's nowhere for her to lay. So hopefully that will get them to draw this box out quicker. Yeah. And then we'll actually get honey off of our medium as well. Which that's what, that was our goal. Right. Um, not, the, not the deeps, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, five deep boxes of or not five deep five boxes. Five deep boxes. <laughs> five deep frames of honey is uh, really good. That's more than we had last year for sure. We had three mediums. We did. And that was a gallon. So how much, do you want to take predictions in this? How much you think from that? Um, if we're taking predictions, then I'm not going to say my guess, but I have a pretty good guess, I think. Why are, why are you not going to say yours? Because if you're taking predictions, then they're just going to copy me. Oh, but I wanted to know what you were going to say. Can okay, you tell me fine. off cam? They probably want to know. Okay. We'll tell them anyway. I would assume somewhere around two gallons. Because okay. a medium box or a medium frame is not quite half of a deep frame. Uh -huh. um, it's, you know, a little less. Um, I had some foam up top. Did you see it? Foam? Yeah. Open that a little. Right there. I wasn't sure if that was why it wasn't sitting right. Oh, comb. Comb. What did you I think I said? I thought you said foam. Yeah, we got confused. foam out here in the bee yard. <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. It's okay. Anyway. Okay, you think two gallons. I'm thinking two gallons okay. because a deep frame isn't quite double a medium, but off of three, we got about a gallon. We've got almost double that in, me in deeps. 
but minus one, so we've got five instead of six. Doing all that math. We need to put like math up on the screen right now. I don't know how to like, do that. <laughs> um, so with a little less than double with a deep frame, I think that'll make up for the little extra. So I'd say probably a little over two gallons. A little okay. bit over double what we got last year. Okay. But we're super early in the year, so I am happy that we are getting it this early. Yeah, awesome. All right, guys, this turned into a long video, but glad you were able to be here. Yes. Yeah. Hear our success. Um, make sure you follow along with us. We still have to go into the cookie dough. That's the green hive. And then into the chunky monkey hive. That is right here. So. And then honey extraction. I know. Exciting times. All right. Thanks for being here and. Bees out. Bees out, y'all.